Most expensive shirt I've given away on a football shirt hunting. I've never seen that before. No way, surely not. That is unbelievable. What is that doing at a thrift shop? Hello and welcome to Football Shirt Hunting, the series in which I go around to different countries all around the world and hunt for football shirts. And this time, it's the turn of Austria. Today in this episode, we're visiting this huge outlet mall and then tomorrow we're going to so many thrift stores and also a few things I've got up my sleeve. I've been told that Austria is really expensive and it's going to be really difficult. So it's kind of handy that there is a massive out because oh, you stick me in an outlet mall, I'm going to score goals with buying shirts. Goodness. Ellis Plotin. Does it again? He's superhuman! Just before we get any further into this and get into this outlet mall, I am of course going to give away one shirt that I find in this video. All you have to do to have a chance of winning that shirt is like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this and get round. There's, there's a bloody Gucci there. That Gucci, the Gucci shop is honestly bigger than any house I've ever seen. And for what? Let's go. As I said, we're starting here at the MacArthur Glen outlet. It is the biggest outlet I've ever seen in the world. Bigger than Orlando, bigger than anywhere I've ever seen. This is what I mean about this outlet. We've got like LED projections on there. You don't, there's MacArthur Glens, like the brands everywhere. If you don't get any LEDs, guess what? Great channel. That's not a joke, is it? They don't look very happy to be wearing the clothes they're wearing. I'm stalling now. There's a Puma there. Let's get inside that. Puma has a red carpet to go in it. Does that mean they're going to have shirts? I've seen it. I have seen it. Oh my. Look at this, they've got Austria shirts. They've got Man City sweat. They've got Dortmund. They've got Milan. I actually think this is a good use of that template, by the way. I quite like that one. Um, Milan up there. But what has caught my attention more than anything is the Gladbach. I think this would be a really cool giveaway item, potentially. But not for 59 euros, <laughs> I'm sorry. What I have found though is the Austria shirt from last year and it's 26 euros and people did tell me Austria is going to be really expensive so potentially this is a giveaway item, potentially one for my collection. I'll buy it um, but there's, remember we've got Nike and Adidas to go to so there might be a better item to give to one of you guys but actually you know what, I'm not going to buy it, we'll come back for it potentially. Not because I'm saying it's a bad item but I don't know if I'd want it in my collection yet, I think I've actually already got it. Um, so potentially a giveaway for one of you guys, but potentially you might sign, find something a bit more cool. Next up we have Nike. Um, Nike is always full of so much hope because like, theoretically, you're gonna find like a PSG or something in there, but it just never happens. But maybe today is the day, maybe. I see Barcelona and PSG joggers, but Barcelona training wear. No, that is rancid. No one wants to wear that. What's going on with that? Surely that can't just be it. It's not just it. We have Barca training, which is very cool. Or we have France in vaping it, which is also very, very cool. I think the France, but it's 44 euros, so it's the equivalent of 40 pound. But for a vaping it France shirt, I'm not actually against it. Um, I might pick it up. Had a bit of a result there. I obviously purchased the Nike, the France shirt. Um, it was 31 euros instead of 45. So I'll say 15 euros basically. Back of the net. Now onto Adidas, where Adidas is usually nice to us. Purely going into this thinking that it's going to be a giveaway item for you guys because they have such a quite a, a cool selection in there. So. Let's have a look and see what we can find. Spot the section. I don't see, there's usually Juventus, Bayern and Germany blackouts. But we see there's Arsenal. There's a Real Madrid jacket that looks really cool actually. And this Juventus jacket's really cool. It's 50 euros, but that, I think that's not actually, that's weird that that's in an outlet. I feel like that would have sold out before it got to an outlet. I think this is where we're seeing the pricier ones come into play that people said about potentially seeing. Um, this Germany one, we can then reference it, is usually 24.95, and here it's 30 euros, so it's like a five euro difference. Um, potentially the Germany for a giveaway for you guys, but I mean, there's some. Uh, is that Juve back there? It is. They're 45, but there would be a really cool giveaway item for one of you, wouldn't it? I think that's potentially a bit more different than what than the Germany top again. You know what, 45 euros. 
I'm going to treat one of you. That's going to be the giveaway item. Like and subscribe to potentially win that because... Or do we, do we go for the jacket for one of you instead? I've never given away a jacket in this series. Jacket or the shirt? What jacket? jacket is nice. You know what? It's football shirt hunting. I'll give away the shirt. He is uh, a genius. Don't say never do anything for you guys. That is the most expensive shirt I've given away on a football shirt hunting and it's in there. That is unbelievably lucky that it stayed there. Juventus shirt from last season. For one of you, we have to do have a chance when it is like and subscribe and have a good time, you know. That's what we're here for. We have fun. Final store here is New Balance. Um, sometimes stuff, sometimes not. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes... No! For the first time in this series, we found a Roma shirt. And it is... I mean, it's not for the first time in this series. Ellis. 56 euros. Um, goodbye. And there's an island shirt as well. But I'm not going to squeeze into that. Day two. Today is thrift shop day. Um, and also... These. We're going to use these to navigate the city because it makes so much more sense than just... Because it's so everything's so far away, so we're going to hop on one of these and head to the first stop. I'm trying to show I'm on the scooter, but... Oh, hey! First stop is Boutique 54. Um, the 54 for the boutiques, followed by 53. I'm just talking at this point, but this looks very, very... Potential. Found something. An AC Milan jacket. What do you reckon on that? If it's under 25 euros, then they've priced it fairly. If it's over, they've lost their minds. You guys can't see that, but it's 34 euros. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, let's keep digging. That's genuinely really cool. It's Italia 90 Adidas jacket, but this 79 euros, but that's really cool. I'd never seen that before. It's even a really cool Toronto FC jacket. Is that, um... Giovinco's era? I feel like that's probably before. The option in there was actually great. Um, like everyone told me, Austria would be really expensive. And they were right, that was really expensive in there. But that Italia 90 jacket, right? People are gonna moan at me and be like, Ellis, you should have got it. But, like, the whole point, I just don't, 80 euros is probably what it's worth. Like, I don't, the whole point is we get something cheaper or something amazing, and I, I don't think I'd ever wear it. Um, sorry. Here we go, there's a few Hamanas we're going through today. Every time I come anywhere, everyone always tells me, Ellis, Humana is the place you'll find something. And I don't think I've ever found anything in a Humana. So let's change that today. Come on, I believe in you. The next clip is going to be me finding something amazing. Oh, it's a Germany 2006 jacket, 18 euros. That's quite cool, actually. Um, There's no use for it, though. We come from the land down under. What on earth? Wembley, May 12th, 1993. What happened in Wembley? It was Palmer against Royal Antwerp in the Cup Winners' Cup final. Maybe it was just given out to people on the day? I don't know. Just walking to the next place, there's a lot of bubbles going on. Someone playing um, My Heart Will Go On. The search for the shirts will go on. People often ask to see some of the cities we go to. Like, Vienna is lovely, look, look at this. And most people are here to see the beauty of the city and I'm here to hunt for pieces of fabric that smell like death. And the reason I've walked through Vienna and shown you guys it is because there's this store I've been told to check out called Fantastic Soccer Football Shop. Um, let me just take a step back. And it is in a very touristy part of it, which is worrying me, but apparently this is a good place to come and find shirts, so let's have a look. I thought this was a classic Dortmund shirt, but it's just a, a Puma top. Um, there's a Man City top, and there's loads of like Austrian stuff, which is really cool. Um, no way, surely not. Like 75 euros for that, it's a fake. Oh my god, get out of here quick. I'm going to leave. I think we should leave. We should leave. I just felt like running. So, there was obviously some real shirts in there, but the prices were just we're in a very touristy part of Austria. Like, if you look around me, like this is. As touristy as Vienna will probably get, I think. Um, but it was just not. No, if you're charging a fake at 75, I'm not even entertaining anything else in there. So that was annoyingly one of our big targets. Stop two, but I never get excited by seeing American football in the window anymore because I know that that doesn't necessarily mean anything. There's a lot of options again, but a lot of options doesn't necessarily mean anything. 
please. Straight away. Yes. That is very interesting. That's straight behind it actually. We've got five units brand new with tags. Um, what else? Oh my god! What the? That is unbelievable. What is that doing at a thrift shop? Right, I'm going to grab them so no one can take them. Holland? I'm going to just take them all in like little bit down. What is happening? Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to whittle these down because this is ridiculous. There we go. I'll show you what it was when we get to the review section. Um, very nice. So I'm happy with that shop. Like literally, it feels like every football shirt was just put into that one rail and that one shop. It's still got three or four places to go to, but like, we're talking like one of the best ever I've seen on football shirt hunting in just terms of like, oh wow, like they're all on a rail. Not like having to go to a warehouse, not just, you know what I mean? Like all on one rail in a shop, like that's very rare. And they knew it as well with the prices, but I picked up one shirt, so we'll show you that in the end. Having a rest for lunch, so we're gonna get to the last ones. Now walking towards the final stop is another Humana. I thought there was more, but the, um, the other ones are either closed today for some reason, or they're just really spaced out. So we're gonna give this a last chance saloon. Kappa jacket, I thought it might have been better, so it's not, what is that? FCR. Rue de Four Erding, I guess it's like a Sunday League team. Mountain Dew, do the Dew. So once again, a bust in there. So barring, barring any last minute craziness, you'll see me back at home, but you never know on these things. I've still got two days here, so something crazy might change. Austria was tough. I kind of imagined Austria would be tough. It's right by Germany. Um, I just, the fingers of football shirt hunting right. I always go in blind. I do like a research the day before. I see where all the thrift stores are. I then search outlet and then I go in like that. I want this series to be as natural as possible in which that you guys viewing this could do exactly the same thing. For context, I go to a city, I search thrift store, thrift stores in Vienna on Google. I then see a list of them and then I just go to them. That's it, that, that is all the plan in this series has. And I, I want it to be that you guys can do the same thing when you go to any city you go to. But then the problem with that is sometimes you have episodes that things are gonna be really difficult and then you have some episodes where it's incredible, but I also feel like that makes the series great. So for example, when we find a USA shirt from 1994 on a random rail in Austria, it's very cool. Very cool, I like it. Speaking of the shirts I managed to obtain, let's get into this, starting with Juventus's home shirt from last season, you see it overlaid on screen. Um, it's a prize for one of you guys. All you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel and tick that bell notification button. That's literally all you have to do. Um, it's the most expensive shirt I've ever bought on a football shirt hunting to give away to one of you. So don't need to thank me. I'm, it's one of them ones that divides opinion. But if you're gonna not want it for free, you're just ungrateful. <laughs> Next up, this France vaping it find I'm very, very happy with. You can see it overlaid on screen. It just screams Kylian Mbappe. That is, I think that's a very good find, especially at 32 euros. If you think about the modern shirt market, like this would have retailed at 100 pound. And it's like been, what, two years? And it's managed to pick it up. In, like I'm just saying, if you are near a Nike outlet, try and try again every week. If you can, it's like walking distance or whatever, just go and check because there's always new stuff in. Like I was told flat out, I'd find nothing in the Nike outlet in Austria. Lo and behold, I did. <laughs> but I'm really happy with that. I think that is actually like one of my finds of the series. I think I genuinely love this like detail and you'll see it overload on screen. I love the vape in it design on this one. I think it works so well. Uh, one of the last shirts that would have actually been made in vape in it um, before they moved to dry fit ADV, which I think is basically the same thing. And then we go to find of the video. I did kind of reference in what the one I got was earlier. I've realized that I wasn't supposed to spoil it. <laughs> oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. But I've actually gone for the USA 94 shirt and I, I, I'd never seen one in person before, which is weird because obviously we've gone to CFS so many times. There's probably been them there and I just haven't paid attention. Um, the reason for me choosing this shirt, I can't actually remember. So here's my reason at, at the time. So I'm only gonna pick up this USA one because I think it's one of the most iconic shirts of all time. 
the rest of them, like the Red Bull, this is Red Bull Salzburg, before they came Red Bull Salzburg, is 60 euros, and I think you can get that cheaper, whereas this one's 119 euros, which is like, 109 euros, sorry, 119 euros, which is like 100 pound. So it's like a bit below market rate, whereas these are all market rate or a bit above. So that's my reasoning, because I definitely forgot my reasoning. Essentially, like all the other ones were more obtainable, and this one was still quite heavily priced. It was 120 euros, which is about, I think it worked out 106 pound um, because the pound is crumbling and so is my life. That is a disgrace. But you can see it over there on screen. I think it's a fantastic shirt, one of the most iconic USA football shirts of all time. And I think it's a shirt that like, I'd be more happy about adding that to my collection than like the shirt before RB Salzburg became RB Salzburg, for example. Like, And I think it's a really nice find. Obviously you had that Newcastle shirt there as well, but. I'd only have been buying that to then trade it or flip it in England and I've kind of moved on from that with my collection now. Like any shirt I buy now, I want to be able to keep. Like I'm not in the market for selling stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'll sell stuff. Like got a match one Martinelli shirt the other day from a Carabao Cup game for Arsenal. If anyone wants to swap something for that, I'd probably listen. That was Austria. I think that's the best find I've found on a rail in football shirt hunting since I've done... The one, the episode one, where we were in Prague, like, I think it's that good. Like, I think it's been that good. Like, I, the chance of finding a shirt like that on a rail in a random thrift store, so low. Like, like obviously we've found football shirt stores, but this, this wasn't a football shirt store. It was just a generic secondhand thrift store. And I'm so, so chuffed with that find. And like I said, Austria was rough. We didn't have any weird twists or anything. It just ended up being a solid haul from a country that... It's quite different. Their main sport is skiing. So I should have referenced that earlier. But if you want to win that Juventus shirt, all you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you very soon for more football shirt content and more away days. I've been Ellis. Subscribe for more. Ciao, ciao. But do I have people sick of me saying ciao, ciao, bye? I don't even think people get this far in. If you do, it's probably because you're in the bath or something. You're on the toilet and you're like, ah, oh, haven't flicked him off yet. Flick me off. Bye. <laughs>